first one is tuned in the key of G, open G, which is G, D, G. G, D, G. All right, today's Blues University is going to be another Blues Essential riff. Just one simple riff, and we're going to work both hands, the picking hand and the slide hand, and we're going to do the riff that Elmore James is known for. That 12th fret. <laughs> It's easy, it's real easy, but you gotta get the pick right. And in fact, there's two different ways of doing the pick. One is to do all downstrokes. Another way, if you're going faster, is to do up and down. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we're gonna start out with downstrokes and we're going to start with the picking hand, and it just does this, these triplets, these one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you have four sets of triplets. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Do it real slow. This picking hand is just going on, on. All three strings, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. me to slow it down I could slow it down remember you're not you're not squeezing that pick you're just holding it lightly check out this pick I got check that out it's a Dell Puckett pick the shape of a heart you know what's best about it when you flip it over thanks Dell all right let's do this slow Even slower, if you need it slow, here's where you start. Just do that over and over and over. Get that picking hand so that you're used to it. And then once, once you're not thinking about it as much, remember, this is not music to play in your head. This is music you feel. So once you get past that muscle memory roadblock and you're starting to feel it, uh, start getting that picking hands faster to do the... in your head to it. Okay, and the slide work. There's two parts to it where the slide's going. There, so up high and then down low. It starts with that slide going from the 11th fret to the 12th fret. Now I'm using the King Slide from StubbySlide.com. Actually, this is part of a three slide set called the Trinity. If you're looking for a cool selection that has the steel, which is the King, a glass, which is the Stubby glass bottle, and brass, which is the Preacher Testify Brass Slide. It has all three in there. 
So for the king slide here, I've got it at the end of my finger. Remember, a stubby slide does not go down low on your finger. No, it sits up top. Whether you use one of my stubby slides or you get a socket from your socket set, you want that thing to set up high so that you can move your hand around like that. That's the whole idea. So we're going to go from the 11th fret to the 12th fret, but this slide is only hitting the middle and high string. It's like this where the low string gets to ring out and it goes up to the 12th. So it goes... See that? So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Every time it starts a triad, it's on the 11th fret and then it goes to the 12th. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. That slide is directly on top of the fret line, not before it. Keep going slow. Let's do this a whole bunch of times slow. Just keep playing it over and over again. Get used to that slide, because that's everything. So, let's get the other part. It goes... So it's got the four triads up here. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And then whip your hand down to the third fret. Put that slide across all the strings. Hit it once and let that slide off. I'm not even hitting it the second time. I'm actually doing that as a pull off like Eddie Van Halen would do pull-offs. I'm using the slide as a pull-off. It's going to take you a while to get used to taking the slide from the 12th fret on those two strings to the 3rd fret with the three strings. And you do it slow. You just do it slow until you're used to it. So you're going, I'm going to go real slow this time. If I'm going really fast, instead of doing all downstrokes, I'll just go. But when you're doing it slower, it doesn't sound as good when you're going back and forth. like Because you kind of want that. You want that accent on the first note. Now when you're going fast, you don't hear the accents as much, and you can do the up and down picking. There you go. The Elmore James lick. The one riff Elmore James knows. In fact, one blues writer once said, Elmore James only ever played one riff, but it was the right one. Now, I've listened to enough Elmore to know that he played more than just that riff. Uh, however, it is that one. It is awesome. Yes, I've taught you how to build cigar box guitars. All the plans are in my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars at StubbySlide.com. 
but we want to do more than just teach you how to make guitars. We want you to play them. We want everyone to play them. So please spread the word about these videos. Hit like, make sure you subscribe. And guys, you want to support the channel? Yes, yeah, stubbyslide.com for the slides, for the book. And if you want to be cool like me and wear Felix, that's over at guitarrags.com. Those things support this channel. Thanks. Del Puckett Pictos.